very much. More than 1,000 people with disabilities are attending a rally in London to protest against changes to the welfare system. Organisers are calling it the hardest hit protest and say that many people with serious illnesses are being denied benefits and services. Ministers insist their changes are fair. Our social affairs correspondent Alison Holt reports. They've made the journey from different parts of the country. They're living with many different types of disability. What brings them together is they believe they are the hardest hit. They claim cuts to local services along with welfare reforms are making their lives impossible. I'm fortunate in that I'm actually employed, but there's a lot of disabled people who aren't fortunate enough to be employed and rely on their benefits to keep them going. The benefits are really important to me and it basically runs my life because without the benefits I wouldn't really be, I wouldn't really be able to do what I want. The same concerns are repeated over and over again. Marchers are worried about reforms to disability living allowance, new fitness to work tests and cuts to local services, which they say for many are the key to staying independent. Campaigners claim over the course of the parliament, disabled people will be £9 billion worse off. Already we are seeing many disabled people who are ending back in institutional care. There are people who are lo losing their independence and uh, you know, their everyday life is being hindered. And we've also heard stories about disabled people really at the edge of trying to commit suicide because of the services being, being reduced. The government maintains people with real needs will be protected, but it says welfare reform in particular is overdue. Well, it can't be right that we have a benefit system where, under DLA, more people who are either alcoholics or drug addicts um, are in receipt of the higher rate of disability living allowance than people who are blind. But there is likely to be a bitter fight ahead. Some disabled people are already turning to the courts to challenge local cuts. Alison Holt, BBC News, Westminster.